So the Yokogawa help file is very comprehensive if you open it and spend some time reading it. The trick is to actually start on the document map which is the overview then go to reference then go to function block details. Now I'm going to show two gems which are not known which is called automatic determination for a PID block. If we go to a PID block it's going to give you a lot of information and if you scroll through this it's going to even tell you uh, more detail about the algorithm with the proportional band no detail on the error term the types of computation which I've shown yet makes mention of five types you go to the next page it actually explains how the error term and the PV term are used in each of those five types the default is an automatic determination type 2 now read this very carefully it says that when it's in cascade mode the block will behave as a PI-D um, otherwise it will behave as an I-PD so if you have a flow loop which is a slave and you take it into auto it's going to behave in an I-PD fashion and the minute you place it into cascade it's going to behave in a PI-D fashion this is the default setting now to demonstrate why or how to default I've put down a standard slave block it's a standard PID if I go edit the detail of this block and I go to the control calculation you're going to see PID algorithm automatic determination type 2 it defaults to value 4 so that means and most people don't know that if I just have that like that as a standard loop I will not have PI-D control for that block and it will behave differently if it is a slave loop so that's the first little gem which is hidden so the first thing we normally do or I normally do is I change it to PI-D so it's PV derivative and it's PI so PID control that's the first thing that one wants to do so this is the automatic and that is the one you should change it to the second gem which is hiding is over here control period automatic determination so it sits at zero and you have various settings most people don't even know what these mean until they start tuning a loop and they're changing the reset time of the slave loop and it's not obvious but if you go and search inside the help documents it's under section C let's go back to the top it's under section C there's a table here on page C728 where it talks about the control period and read this very very carefully the integral time of a PID block determines the actual scan time of that PID block. So if I change the reset time of a controller, which is let's say proportional, I want it's a fairly quick process. I've got um, high proportional gain, but I want a fairly long reset time. But I want it to execute every second. I'm gonna might end up in this region where the PID block behaves in an intermittent fashion in other words it's only going to scan that PID block once every 32 seconds this is probably a hangover to try and minimize CPU loading and um, if you're not aware of it it can cause uh, some problems so it would be recommended so what we normally do is if I know it's a key loop and it needs to have a high scan rate you uncheck automatic determination and set it to one so then you're guaranteed it's going to scan at every scan period for that block and those are two very key hidden uh, pieces of information on the Okugawa that very few people really really know and I want to caution you of caution you about and make sure you use them correctly